Hello friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And today I'm going to be talking about dental care. So taking care of your teeth, what's the best way to do that naturally and frugally at the same time? Well, I'm going to go over several different methods here, but the first thing I want to say before I get on to the more external stuff is that Proper eating is going to be the number one factor in taking good care of your teeth. You want to make sure you're eating a lot of good mineral rich foods and some of these things can be kale, almonds, obviously your raw grass fed dairy. And I have a video I did uh, not too long back on the health benefits of eggshells, but I, in that video I also went through a fairly extensive list of good mineral rich foods that will be that mostly with the calcium and magnesium and I'll go ahead and link to that video right up here and I recommend that you check it out and uh, listen to the list I'm reading there and also learn more about the eggshells now right here I have the eggshells uh, a jar these eggshells come from my own chickens I just powder I wash them with just warm water I powder them up I personally don't worry about salmonella but if you do if that concerns you then what I recommend is you take the eggshells put them on a cookie sheet and then bake them on low heat like 200 degrees for about 10 minutes that's all it takes to to kill salmonella or use hot hot water Water. that should do it too if it's really hot water I don't personally recommend boiling them for a long period of time some people will do that but I would be concerned about the minerals actually leaching out of the eggshells and into the water and then you know if you powder up your eggshells you're not going to be getting as much of the good minerals in there this is my personal opinion um, but anyway uh, this is one of the things I do internally but also eating things you know like your you know like your uh, kimchi and different stuff like that is going to be really beneficial to your teeth from the inside out. I mean that's just the best way to care for your teeth is from the inside out. But as far as topically goes, that's mostly what I want to focus on today. I've tried through the years so many different ways, so many different things to brush my teeth with to find what I like best. And really what I like best is to mix things up. I don't stick with the same thing all the time. Now most of you will know I have a recipe out of my own uh, tooth powder that involves some baking soda, some minerals that I add to that, and then some uh, peppermint oil. And the, the peppermint is really just for the sake of flavor, just to make it taste good, make your, make your mouth feel fresh, but all the good stuff, the main thing is the, what's in the powder itself. I will also link to this video right up here so you can check that out and uh, find out how I make my tooth powder. Now. I don't use the tooth powder all the time. It's something I go back and forth on. Like I said, I like to switch things up. One of my favorite things to do is to brush with just plain old coconut oil. Sometimes I'll mix a little bit of turpentine in with it. I know that sounds funny, <laughs> but I'll get, again, I keep talking, saying I'm gonna get to the turpentine video eventually. And sometimes I'll do the peppermint oil, but a lot of times I'll just brush with coconut oil plain. Now this is the coconut oil I'm using now because personally I think it's a great coconut oil. If you have a Costco near you, you can go right into the store and pick this size up. It is, it's the best price I've seen out there on coconut oil ever. And it is, what is it, 84? It's 84 ounces and in the store it's typically $14, at least here where we're at. Online you can get it for I think $16 from Costco, which is still a really good deal. And if if you can't, if you don't have a Costco near you or you're in a position where it's difficult for you to be able to get out and do shopping and you're just really have to resort to online shopping, I will link to another coconut oil be below that I've used before as a good coconut oil. It's from Carrington Farms and it's the second best price I believe I've seen on coconut oil. Now I used to use Nutiva because I was able to get a really good price on it on Amazon through the subscribe and save, but that's no longer existent. And so if you've heard me talk about it in previous videos, the price has since doubled and so it's no longer a great price. This is the best price I've seen. So anyway, brushing with coconut oil alone is really great, especially if you couple it with oil pulling. So what I like to do is take a little bit of coconut oil and then brush for a while, maybe about five minutes. Then I remove the toothbrush and then just do oil pulling for like maybe another 15, 20, 25 minutes, something like that. 
And I don't ever spit it down your sink though because you'll clog up your drain. So you want to spit it outside somewhere. Some people will spit it into like a, a paper towel or something and, and throw it in the trash. I just, I just spit it outside. Uh, now some other things you can consider as far as adding to like your own tooth powder is, and some people will brush with just this, is a good mineral salt. Now Redmond Real Salt is my favorite and this is how I buy it. You can buy it in smaller amounts. Um, I will link to this below. It's a 10 pound bucket. It is the best deal uh, for a good mineral rich salt. You can brush with that. Um, I personally don't. I've tried it before. Long before I knew people even brush with mineral salt or with salt at all. I just tried it one time and it was okay. Uh, I've always been about experimenting with different things a lot of times long before even looking them up. Um, some other things you can consider is using your homemade colloidal silver. We did finally get a video out on how to make your own colloidal silver generator and the colloidal silver. I'll go ahead and link to it up here. It's two different ways you can do it. One is the way we have ours set up. Another one is a far more simple that anyone can do. And it's, it's really the best way to do it. But you can, anyway, you can use your colloidal silver as a rinse because the colloidal silver is going to kill and remove the bad bacteria in your mouth that causes um, decay. So uh, other things to consider, and this is what I do, and I don't do this every day, and I don't rec recommend everybody do this every day, but I actually keep a blend of frankincense resin and myrrh resin, mostly frankincense, in my purse that I use in replace of chewing gum. Um, it's a good way to clean your teeth. So like I say, we go out somewhere, maybe we go out to a restaurant, I feel like I need to clean my teeth. I like to pull out a little bit of the resin and chew on it. And it also is gonna kill any of the, back, the bad bacteria in my mouth. And, um, and it cleans my teeth at the same time. And plus the frankincense also helps to improve your digestion as well. So that, that's another option there. Again, I don't recommend doing it all the time. Um, I'm not sure long-term how good it would be using that kind of stuff in the way I like to. Um, I recommend also looking into it more yourself, considering your own health considerations, whether or not you're pregnant, because I know myrrh at least. I'm not sure about the frankincense, but I know myrrh at least uh, is not good if you're pregnant. Um, so look into these things, do your own research on it. Uh, I'm just telling you what I do, okay? So it's not necessarily, I'm saying everybody should do this because everybody's gonna be different. These are some things I want you to look into for yourself. Now, getting down to my latest favorite way, I shouldn't say latest because I've done it off and on for a couple of years, and that is bentonite clay. Brushing with just plain old bentonite clay. You only need to just lightly powder your toothbrush with it because bentonite clay is like a sponge and it will swell up and make a lot more. So if you saw my last video I did on mask, on how to make a detoxifying, uh, soothing mask for your skin, um, I'll link to that right up here. You'll see that how I took a tablespoon of bentonite clay and it, it absorbed the tea that I made and it made about uh, close to a quarter cup I think on its own just just like that because it'll just keep swelling up and swelling up and so if you get too much on your toothbrush you'll have a big old mouthful of <laughs> of clay because it starts absorbing the saliva and it will really swell up but it's that very property right there that works to be such a great detoxifier removing the bad bacteria and heavy metals also from your system. That's why bentonite clay is also great to take internally. Again, you want to mix it with water or something and make it more like a pudding and then eat it because you don't, you don't want to just take it dry. It's not, a, not recommended. But just anyway, just a light dusting on your toothbrush. And I like to brush with this for like 5, 10, 15 minutes. And it has actually been the one thing that's made my teeth whiter than anything else. It has worked the best. It's worked better than coconut oil. It's worked better than tooth powder. It's worked better than the tooth powder and the peroxide combined I talked about in another video. And so this is my favorite. And here's the other great thing about the bentonite clay is it's high in minerals like calcium and magnesium. So you're also remineralizing your teeth while you're brushing with it. And so I really recommend it. And of course, again, if you're adding this to your diet, um, again, something you don't want to take too much because you don't want to flush out too many of the good stuff things out of your body. But it does, heavy metals will bind to it. So if you're taking it, 
internally you're going to get the good minerals out of there while it's also pulling the uh, heavy metals out of your system and flushing them out of your body so i really recommend bentonite clay oh and i will also link to the bentonite clay i use below and what else oh also the frankincense and mercs i did also get these from amazon and the you know if you like peppermint oil in your um in your tooth powder blends i'll link to this below because this is a really good price again i trust now foods um, I trust them so far better than any other brands I've used, especially the MLM brands. Um, anyway, oh, and I'll also link to the, the, the big bucket of the Redmond Real Salt, because this is my favorite, favorite salt, though. I, I use several different ones. This one's my very favorite, um, and it's mined here in the U.S., so I like that as well. The other thing I want to say before I finish this up is that um, take any of these ideas and like maybe the the tooth powder recipe and add some bentonite clay to that and mix it in um i've done that too you can also do coconut oil and bentonite clay i've done that as well you can do coconut oil with the tooth powder and the bentonite clay just kind of play with it and find what works for you now i've heard people talk about brushing with turmeric and i have no desire to do that but uh apparently that's good as a whitener i've also tried the neem powder and charcoal blend and uh, personally i hated it i really disliked it and i didn't see that it did anything to whiten my teeth personally the bentonite clay for me has worked best but look into those options too those are some you know i believe they probably are really good options i just don't like them and the neem powder is incredibly bitter so it, not only does it taste bad i just didn't find that it worked all that great and then you know you, your mouth and your teeth are all black until you can get all that rinsed <laughs> out it's just weird but if it works for you great i know it works great for some people but this is what I do and this is what I really like. Um, go ahead and look at all the other options. You might want to even take the neem powder, the charcoal, and, the, and or the turmeric and mix it in with your regular tooth powder. It's all a matter of choice and that's what makes all this stuff so great. I would say most of this stuff, especially the bentonite clay and the coconut oil and the salt are going to be virtually safe for everyone. Some of the other things you might want to consider, like I've got the calcium and magnesium powder in here. And then the, like I said, the resins, you'll really want to check into that, uh, depending on your health conditions, whether or not you're using it with a child or you're pregnant or whatever it is, you're on any kind of medications. These can cause issues. So you really have to look into it for yourself. I can't go over all those details in one short video. So anyway, this is what I'm doing and I'm really happy with it. So I hope this gives you some ideas. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.